hey, we're in the same boat. We're both coughing up semen here. But weird thing, two weird things in Texas. <laughs> and then I'll roll it over to you. Ah, jeez. All right. <laughs> oh, there it was. That got loose. I heard it. That was a loose phlegm flick. Lucy.co. You got to get the loose. That's what it's all about. But uh, a guy hit me up to do his pod. You know you know how they do on the road. Hey, will you do my pod? I go, ah, geez, I'm trying to relax. Who is this guy? Does the name Willie D ring a bell? Willie D. No. Willie Dixon? That seems like something. Uh, William, Billy D. Williams? No, I don't Ooh. know Willie D. I didn't know him either. I tell my opener, Andrew, he goes, Willie D, Houston guy? I go, yeah, I'm doing some Houston guy, black guy. And he goes, that's one of the ghetto boys. Oh, wow. Now, I don't know much about the uh, hip hoppery, but I give him a goog. I mean, these guys are huge. Well, I know Damn It Feels Good to Be a Gangster. I know that song pretty well. That's the big one, yeah. Mostly from Office Space. Exactly. So I, I go, hell yeah, I'm in. Plus, I feel like we do a lot of pods with a bunch of honkies. It's nice to branch out and get some uh, some some POC in there. Sure, Branch Ricky. Yes, so I go do the the Ghetto Boys podcast in a shack in the middle of Houston. It's boiling hot. These guys are old rappers. They're old gangsters. They're cool as hell. And here's the, the funny thing about gangsters, guys, is they're cool. They're tough. They've shot people. They've been shot. If you say horrible, offensive jokes, they can't believe it. They're like, oh, my God. Ah, dang, get, get, that boy got no chill. Holy shit. And I'm like, you've been shot. I just made a joke about eating cum. Right. I mean, but they were laughing and enjoying oh, it. Oh, yeah. It feels like. They were loving it. And they're like, dude, are you worried when you talk like that? Are you worried you're going to get in trouble? I'm like, you've been to jail. What are you talking about? Like, these are jokes. But they, they couldn't believe it. They're like, this white boy is fucking bananas. Now what were all the boys there, or just some of the ghetto boys? I think one of them is dead. Uh, the the little one died. There was a midget in the group. He he passed on to uh, mini heaven, and then uh, it was just me and uh, Scarface was the other guy. Scarface. That's Al Pacino. His rap name. That's what I was hoping for, but he was a uh, gentleman of color. But he was in the boys. He's in the ghetto. Wow, I mean that is thrilling. And do they still rap? Are they? Do they live in the ghetto? What, 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 they tell did. Tell me more about the ghetto boys. They lived in the ghetto. They're boys. They uh, <laughs> they they rap. They 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 had a couple of big hits. They're huge in Houston. They're like local heroes, obviously, because they they got out. You know, they made it into the movies. They crossed over. Whitey likes them. They're great guys. They came to the show. They loved the show. Wow, super cool. They hung out in the green room, which was very uh, very awkward because they're like. Hey, you guys are cool. I'm not cool. How you doing? Have a chicken wing. But super-